Tonight we have new developments in a bill impacting hundreds of thousands of people in Louisiana. Just hours ago, the House of Representatives passed an amended version of the Homeowner Flood Insurance Affordability Act. The amendment co-sponsored by Louisiana Congressman Bill Cassidy and New York Congressman Michael Grimm reinstates the flood insurance program's grandfathering provision. It puts a cap on premium increases and reforms the process that FEMA uses to create flood maps. The bill now goes to the Senate for a vote. Joining us now to tell Tell us just what this bill means for local homeowners. Jefferson Parish President John Young and the Director of the External Affairs at GNO Inc., Caitlin Burney. Thank you both for coming in. Good to be here. Good to and John, what, what does this mean for homeowners? Well, this is a significant victory that started last May with about 13 of us who went up to D.C. It's been a team effort. What it does, it reinstates the grandfathering provision and the grandfathering provision on the property as opposed to the policy. So that anyone who built according to FEMA uh, code and base flood elevation in the past, they won't see their insurance go drastically up as big it was 2012 did. Then it puts a cap on the increases, uh, a cap of 15% uh, on an average in a flood zone, but an ultimate cap of 18% on an individual policy, individual property. The other thing it does is it, it, it gets rid of the sales trigger, that if someone buys your house, that, that grandfather provision follows the property, which is so significant. It also is going to refund those who did get hit since Bigot Waters went into effect, and then it's going to direct FEMA to strive to limit increases to 1% of the coverage. So mm -hmm. if you have $250,000 worth of coverage, $2,500. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's 15% it's, um, as I said on a flood zone, 18% mm -hmm. individual cap. So that's a significant development uh, in less than a year and that's going to make it affordable for people to go forward mm -hmm. and it's going to preserve home ownership in the American dream. There's a big step towards some relief when it comes to flood insurance rates. Tonight, the House passed a bill to save property owners here and across the nation. Now it heads to the Senate. It would cap premiums for those who built before FEMA restructured flood zones and bring down rates for those who've never flooded. Congressman Bill Cassidy of Baton Rouge says his bill is a long-term fix. It's different policy, it's better policy, and it's my cautious optimism that they will pass it without amendment and it will go to the, to the president's desk for signature. Congress is rolling back the overhaul of the federal flood insurance program. Great news for many. The House was voted, has voted by a wide margin to prevent homeowners in flood-prone areas from being overwhelmed by those sharp increases in their premiums. Among other things, the measure would also allow sellers to pass along their subsidized below-market insurance rates to new buyers. Louisiana Congressman Bill Cassidy worked hard to get this thing passed in the House. He said in a statement tonight, we accomplished a great victory for half a million Louisiana families, members of Congress from both parties and from across the country joined together to pass the Grim Cassidy Amendment to provide long-term flood insurance relief. Congress is rolling back the overhaul of the federal flood insurance program. The House approves legislation to roll back that recently enacted overhaul of the federal flood insurance program. Among other things, the measure would allow sellers to pass along their subsidized below market insurance rates to new buyers. Congressman Bill Cassidy says it's a victory for Louisiana families.